Okay, just got done cooking breakfast for the kids and this is what um, we do sometimes I wanted to share with you. So I just have these tortillas, flour tortillas. They're the fajita size. And then I scrambled some eggs and put cheese on them. Then I'll just wrap it up and they love it. And I'll put a little sausage on the side. Oh. And then Ellen and Eden have some avocado on the side of theirs, but Max won't touch it, so there's breakfast. Good morning, you guys. Today is Wednesday. Welcome back to the vlog. I'm gonna do a day in the life here today. It is a little after nine right now, and the kids had breakfast. We have our nephew over with us this week, and we are about to go on a walk. I'm gonna take everyone on a walk. Max can take his new bike that he got for his birthday yesterday. Um, I need to make my bed. And then I need to work out. I've been doing a new workout program that I'll share with you guys later. It's not like Beachbody or anything. It's not an MLM. It's just an app. But I'll tell you guys about that later when I do it. And then I need to get ready for the day. And we are going to run to Target. Max got a gift card for his birthday. So I'm going to let him pick out something from Target. And I need a few other things from there. Maybe get a Starbucks. And then I am going to cook dinner tonight. I'll share that recipe with y'all as well. But right now I'm going to get this bed made and we're all going to go on a walk. Eden! Beep boo! Beep boo! <laughs> My gosh, what are you doing, Mama? <laughs> she keeps running over there and then tackling me. <laughs> Max is on his bike riding back and forth. Come here, Eden. Come here. Are you tired? Come here. Uh oh, watch out. Ah! Oh! Gotcha. Got you. More? Good job stopping, buddy. <laughs> okay so I look a little rough right now but I just got done working out we got back from our walk and everything the kids are resting for a minute watching a movie and Eden fell asleep early for a nap today so I got my workout done early and now I'm about to make some lunch it's almost 12 now and the kids are already hungry even though we just ate breakfast, I feel like. But I'm gonna go ahead and make some lunch. I'm gonna make them some pizza roll-ups. I'm gonna flip this around in a second and show y'all how to do that. It's super easy. But like I was saying earlier, I have been loving those workouts because they're all 20 minutes or less and they're like intense. They're hit workouts. So you get in there, you sweat, and you get it done fast. And <laughs> I'm all about like fast workouts. I can't like just run on a treadmill all day, but I love HIIT workouts because you break a sweat and 20 minutes or less, perfect because I have kids, you know? But I'm looking a little crazy now, a little bit sweaty. I'm gonna make lunch and then get myself put together. So this is what I'm gonna have, these Boca burgers, just one of these, and then use lettuce as a wrap with some tomatoes on it. And then this is for the kids. I just have some crescent rolls here. I'm gonna break open and then put a little bit of pizza sauce on and then put a cheese stick in it. And then you wrap it up. I first found this on Pinterest, but like I said earlier, super easy and the kids love it. It's just a nice little treat. Not used to this. I don't know how to act, don't know how to adapt to this situation Not used to this, no I'm not I better let myself Give in to love, believe in us No matter what it does to my heart Not used to this, no I'm not It was like if we were to waste These moments The light poets to me I'll be like
like a piece of art I want more, the better slow it down Inside my mind is getting all too loud I get scared, not used to this, not prepared Not used to this, not prepared, not prepared It was like if we were to waste these moments This is how they'll look when you take them out of the oven Jeez, it's kind of going out But the kids love them and it's a super easy lunch so you should definitely try it okay so i wanted to do a quick little tutorial for the top knot um i don't have a chair in my bathroom so excuse the awkward angle but i showed this on my instagram stories probably a week or two ago and i wanted to share it here too just in case there's different people okay so i already curled my hair um, this is day one hair. Usually works a little bit better if it's day two hair, but we're going to roll with it. So all you're going to need is three bobby pins, some dry shampoo, and your hair tie, which an elastic, those little clear elastics work a lot better, but this is what we have, so it'll work just fine as well. And you're just going to section off your hair like you would for half a pack down. I'm trying to look in the mirror, sorry. And then you're going to spray this part with dry shampoo on the back of it, just to give it a little more texture. You're going to take it and go through just like a normal ponytail to start. And you're going to stop when it's just a normal bun. So you're going to pull halfway through for however big you want it. Just do a little. And then take your tail end and wrap it around all the way. And pin that down. Okay, and then you're going to take this part right here and take your other two bobby pins and pin down the sides of it. So you're going to pull it down and kind of pin it like behind and like back and around. So you won't be able to see it. You'll have to mess with it a little because it takes a minute to look good, but. Okay, so once you have it like this, you're gonna mess with it, move your bobby pins around if you need to, redo them. That's gonna have to get redone. But, after you mess with it for a little bit, Fluff it up a little. There you have it. Okay, we just got to Target, but I had to make a little pit stop. Um, that's my nephew, Aspen. Say yeah. hi. 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 They're so ready to go in. Because I'm about to fall asleep, so I needed some coffee. So I thought I would treat myself, and this is what I got this time. This is my go-to. I get this a lot unless I'm trying something new. But I just got a venti iced coffee with white mocha and cream. And I kept the classic this time. Sometimes I don't because it's a little too sweet. But you should definitely try it out. I usually don't get a venti either. I usually get a grande. But you know what? Whatever works today, I'm just very, very tired. What are you going to get, buddy? Yeah. Something over there? You want to look around, Eden? <laughs> okay, we just got back from Target. <laughs> look, do you like the decorations in the background? That's for Max's party, but um, I figured I'd do a tiny Target haul, so let me turn this around. 
This is what Max ended up picking for his birthday gift. And I picked he got a little this. Nerf gun. I picked these. Ella got a little something too. She Necklace. got these necklaces. I found this little cup and thought it was so cute. Queen of the kiddom. <laughs> I found this little peach tea candle. It smells so good. It smells like peach tea. I got the kids this little wooden balancing game out of the dollar section. I got the girls some new bike shorts because they were a little small. Ella picked these blue and black ones. And then for Eden, I got the pink sparkling ones and, and some black ones as well. Some snacks for the kids, some Z bars and some Scooby snacks. I got these waters to try. I love flavor sparkling waters and I haven't tried this brand. So I got this and it is the lime flavor. Some chips for the kids and then I found a bunch of good like homeschool stuff in the dollar section. So I got them each this little dry erase board and some dry erase markers. These were each a dollar. And then these are little dry erase pockets that you can like print out worksheets and put them in here so that you can just wipe it off and reuse the same worksheet. And then just some plain little folders to keep all their work in. Okay guys, so I had full intentions of making a sausage and sweet potato and broccoli sheet pan dinner tonight. But honestly, I am so exhausted and craving something not healthy. So we're getting Panda Express. Don't judge me. Doesn't happen all the time. But if you know what I mean, when you're tired, you don't want to cook. I've already cooked two meals today. So we're eating now tonight. <laughs> Anyways, me and Eden are out here getting it. And I'm going to take it back home for everyone. And then we will do baths and get ready for bed. Okay, so I'm in here giving Eden a bath right now, but I wanted to show y'all real quick this little hair tool I got. This is it. Um, it's called a shampoo brush. I don't know why I'm just hearing about it a few weeks ago, but anyways, I got it on Amazon, a two pack for like $6, I think, and I've been using it on the kids' hair, and they love it so much more than like when I would wash their hair with my nails, they would like cry, and I feel like it hurt. So these don't bother them one bit. Yeah, this is the other one. There was two back. Um, these don't bother them one bit. They actually like it and it feels relaxing to them. And it's supposed to help with hair growth, like stimulate hair growth. So mainly I'm using it on Eden because she's almost two and barely has hair, but she's loving it and I wanted to share that with you guys. One more thing that I wanted to share with y'all are a few of my favorite devotionals that I've been reading lately. This is my all-time favorite. I keep coming back to this, and I could read it over and over, but it is Pressing Paul's 100 Quiet Moments for Moms to Meet with Jesus. It's directed specifically to moms, and I'm telling you, every page in this book speaks so much truth, and I always tend to read exactly what I need on that day. It's just really good for moms and very, very relatable. It makes you feel like you're not alone. And then the Bible, of course. And this is another good one. This is my second time going through it. The kids have drawn on it a little. But this is seamless and it really helps you understand the Bible. It's just it's so good, you guys. It's, it walks you through step by step of what to read and then ask questions. And it just really helps you understand everything in the right order. So yeah, that's a good one. And this is new. This is a prayer journal for women that I got on Amazon as well. It is a 52-week scripture devotional and guided prayer journal. So I've only done the first week because I just got it. But it's really good. It gives you a verse each week. And then you write down what you reflect. And then you have a place for what you're thankful for what you would like him to teach you and guide you, things on your heart, highlights of the week and prayer request. And then you can look back at this at the end of the year and just see how far you've came. 
and I think it's really special, and I'm excited to keep doing that. All right, all the kids are bathed, and we brushed all their teeth. Read them a story. They're laying down. I just got to get this one to bed, um, but I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, say hi in the comments so I can say hey back to you, but I hope you like this vlog, and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye, guys. I've been dreaming all night Bringing me some inspiration Never meant to love no one But baby I saw you for a second And I'm happy that you came my way Don't wanna waste no time without you ever bright.